guys so <laughs> should i do my old intro um okay okay i get so out of breath when i'm talking on my youtube videos and i think it's genuinely because i panic i'm like oh my god it's recording i've got all okay what's up people this is fadzi coming at you with a new video so i decided to record a video talking all about my personal statement oh my god are my hands ashy we need to check if my hands are ashy are they ashy a little bit oh let me put lotion on <laughs> oh people pick up on these things you know today we're going to be talking about personal statements and this um idea came to me because i was just on my laptop checking my emails and stuff and then i was like Looking back, I just wanted to read my personal statement and so that's what inspired this video and I was like, okay, so I might as well read my personal statement out and give people some tips on how to do a personal statement which is aimed at a biomedical science degree or anything in that field, so medical or sciences, anything in that spectrum. Obviously, if you're applying for a course that's got nothing to do with science, this video might still benefit you, whether you want to watch it or not, that's going to be left at your discretion. Okay, so let's get started. got my laptop here and I'm just going to be reading through my statement. The lighting might be really awful because it's really dark outside. It's only 4pm, can you imagine? It's ridiculous. I didn't even explain what a personal statement is. Okay, so a personal statement is a writing, it's like an A4 sheet of paper where you literally explain to the universities that you're applying to, why they should pick you, essentially why you're interested in that course, what makes you a suitable candidate, and why they should pick you instead of somebody else. So your personal statement is what sets you apart from the next student. So you can both have amazing grades, the same grades, you both got A's and B's or A stars and A's and yeah, your results are identical but the only thing that's going to set you apart is your personal statement and in your personal statement you're basically selling yourself. It's <laughs> Okay, not like that kind of selling yourself but you're selling yourself in a way that um, you're telling them why they should pick you, why you should be a student at their university instead of somebody else. Okay, so just some background. I wanted to apply for medicine, but I didn't quite make the grades at AS level. I kind of flopped, to be honest. I got C's, and it, in order to do medicine, you need to be getting A's and A stars because my AS level results were not good, they weren't A's and A stars, I couldn't get my teachers to give me like good predicted grades that I would need for medicine, so that's why I opted for biomedical science because it's a popular route for people that want to study medicine, so you do a three year biomedical science course and then you apply for medicine post-grad and then they knock off a year so instead of you doing five years of medicine you do four years because you've got that undergraduate degree so yeah that's the route that I was going to take but life didn't turn out that way but that's not what this video is about so we're going to go on and talk about the personal statement this is what I wrote I put Biomedical science has played a vital role in the research of many life-threatening diseases and in finding a cure for them. That was my introduction. So you need a sort of like, like your intro needs to have like a little bit of a punch. Ah, that actually had a little bit. Okay, it needs to have a little bit of a punch. So let me read that again. Biomedical science has played a vital role in the research of many life-threatening diseases and in finding a cure for them. The opportunity to give people a chance of living a healthy life has reinforced my desire to pursue a career in biomedical science. The flexibility of the course is what I find most appealing because it will allow me to direct my learning towards topics that interest me. I'm excited by the idea of being able to design a unique project that no one else has done before. So that little bit where I'm talking about um, the flexibility of the course, um, 
One tip that I'll give you guys is definitely look at your course layout, look at all the modules and assessments that you'll be doing. If I hadn't looked, I wouldn't have known whilst I was applying that in biomedical science everyone does a third year project. So my first paragraph, I have explained that I know a little bit about my course, the way that it's laid out. Biology is at the pinnacle of my academic interest. The int uh, I can't read. The intricacy of the human body and its functions is an aspect that intrigues me the most because it widens my understanding of my own anatomy. A biology project I did on malaria helped me to realise how much I enjoy researching, which is fundamental in the work of biomedical scientists. I'm linking what I do or what I've done during secondary school to how it may apply to biomedical science or a career in biomedical science. So research is clearly a big part of science. So I did a biology project on malaria. I'm carrying on. I researched the use of a chemical called DDT, a pesticide, which is proposed to be a cure for malaria, a cure of malaria, but its use is controversial as it is argued to have damaging effects on the environment and people who use it. So I'm showing an interest in a disease that is covered in some modules um, that biomedical um, science students study. So that would already show the person reading that I have interest in research and disease. So maybe I'm interested in more, you know, the pathology side. So. It's not just like I picked this degree randomly and I don't know what it's about. Like you really have to show that you know what the degree you've chosen is about. My next paragraph is talking about work experience. So I successfully acquired a work shadowing placement at Hillingdon Hospital where I witnessed the remarkable work of surgeons working alongside by medical scientists to operate on patients. The surgeon will essentially take a sample, maybe a blood sample or a tissue sample and then send it off to the lab. So you're not really seeing them working together, but I kind of had to show that they do work together, even though that is not a popular view of biomedical scientists. People seem to just think they're just stuck in a lab, but they do need to communicate with other healthcare workers. So I was just showing that in my um, personal statement. What really happened with this work experience is I wanted to study medicine, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I wanted to study medicine, not biomedical science. So I went, got a placement to shadow some doctors, and then I met a consultant, and I don't know, um, it was me and another student that had that placement and they just seemed to like us, we were nice I guess and we seemed really interested and excited about the, um, the career so we weren't actually supposed to um, see the surgery side of things but because of our intrigue, asking questions and stuff like that they invited us to watch a surgery and so that ended up being two surgeries, we ended up watching two surgeries and that's how that work experience came about but in order to show that I've got some work experience because I actually never had any work experience working in a lab whilst I was writing this personal statement so I had to link my work experience shadowing doctors to biomedical science if that makes sense so I had to show what I learnt from shadowing doctors and how it applies to biomedical science. My placement helped me realise the importance of biomedical scientists and how clinical procedures owe their success to their diligent work. So analysing blood samples or other urine samples, any sample and being able to offer a diagnosis. So that's where I was going with this and the fact that a secondary secondary school student knows this would be quite impressive to someone who is reading a personal statement. That was um, the work experience I'd done and then I talked about my personal life so I said being the eldest child I would say responsibility is a skill that has been embedded in me from a young age. It is important for biomedical scientists to be responsible because their work could either save or destroy people's lives. So everything that I'm mentioning, I'm also backing it up with 
why it's relevant to the course that I'm applying for because I, I, can, I can't just say oh I'm the eldest child and that helped me to be responsible it's like okay well duh like <laughs> what else like what has it got to do with this course I'm gonna talk about stuff that I do outside of school or within the school but extracurricular stuff because university is like a well-rounded person you can't just be one-dimensional like you're just all about your books because everyone who's applying is all about their books what sets you apart is your personal experiences and things that you do outside of your education attending a science summer school at a university <coughs> I don't want to name the university that I attended the summer school at because I thought it might put me at a disadvantage and that's a tip that I got from someone, I can't remember who, but they said certain things you don't need to put specifics because it might put you at a disadvantage. For example, the summer school that I actually went to was Plymouth University but I did not apply to Plymouth University for any of my choices and if I had put... I don't know, maybe if um, the universities that I applied to offered summer schools, they might turn around and be like, well, why are you interested in our university when you clearly went to Plymouth University for summer school? Do you get, get what I mean? So, yeah. Attending a science summer school at a university confirms my decision to further my studies at degree level. So here I'm talking about not only do I want to study biomedical science, but I realise that it's at a higher education level and I don't want to just end my education at secondary school. I'm going to progress further because of this little insight into university life that I've had. I had first-hand experience in working in laboratories to investigate the feeding rate of barnacles and presenting the result at a poster session. So this is showing that even though I didn't have work experience in a lab, I did have some experience through the summer school opportunity where I was able to work in a lab and see how things run in a lab. Exposure to the social life of the students appealed to me because it creates a healthy balance between working hard and also finding time to unwind and interact with others in a social environment. And that is essentially what your university wants, that's essentially what your workplace wants. They don't just want someone who's just all about the degree, all about the job, like what other interests do you have? After that, I go on to talk about my school life and my involvement in the school. So I say, as a school prefect, I volunteer at school events such as parents' evenings and open evenings to showcase the school and represent various departments within the school. I'm a till prefect which puts me in a position of trust, handling money during busy break and lunch times. Getting involved in athletics, netball and rounders allows me to stay active and sociable. This year I had the opportunity of being a team manager at a Girls Get Active event which was aimed at encouraging young girls to be more involved in sports. Completing the National Citizen Service program allowed me to be more involved in the community that I live in. I worked in teams with other young people to devise media projects that raise awareness about issues such as self-image, FGM and HIV. And I just realised a small mistake that I made here is not... Um, is by abbreviating a good tip that I would give you guys if you're writing things out on your CV or whatever make sure you write it out in full unless it's a common term like HIV that everyone knows as an acronym stuff like FGM most people might not know that that stands for female genital mutilation so if I was to go back and do my statement again I would write it out in full so yeah I did projects on those topics and those topics also relate to biomedical science so you see by taking part in these like extracurricular things you're actually doing things that indirectly relate to your course i talk about duke of edinburgh which is another extracurricular so i say pursuing the duke of edinburgh silver award encouraged me to be independent and exercise my endurance leadership and teamwork skills Although the expedition was physically and emotionally draining, I learned important survival skills and found it extremely rewarding at the end. 
I utilize my creative skills by playing piano and drawing or drawing. That's a really weird word to say. I also enjoy listening to music, singing and dancing. I was a member of the ISSP choir for three years. We performed together at the Royal Albert Hall, Windsor Parish Church and Windsor High Street. Being a qualified first aider has given me the confidence to handle emergency situations in a composed and efficient manner. My future prospects are to devise medical health projects around the world and volunteer in developing countries. Yeah, that is my personal statement done. So to begin with, you you make sure you show an understanding of the course that you're applying for so biomedical science is about research and I've shown that and then I've talked about a biology project that I did on um, DDT and malaria and then that's all about research and then I've shown another form of research when I went to Plymouth University for a, si um, for a science summer school where I was looking at the breathing rate of barnacles in the laboratory. So all of that just ties together and it just shows that I'm knowledgeable about the course that I'm applying for. So that's what I would recommend for you guys to really know the course that you're applying for. Make sure you read the course specification and yeah, really know what you're talking about. Also, I think it might be worth noting that I did get offers from all five options that I applied to. So I would guess that had something to do with my personal statement because I don't think my predicted grades were that great. So with your personal statement, once you've um, written it, make sure you have more than one draft. So constantly improve it. Get other people to proofread it for you, your family, your friends, anyone you know that may be in university already. Your teachers, especially I got my teachers to proofread, I got people that I knew that were in university to proofread. That will help tremendously. Read examples of personal statements but never copy an example. Never. That's plagiarism. And universities are big on plagiarism, they hate it. And if you guys are struggling, like I mean really struggling, or you just want somebody to look at your personal statement, um, I'll put my email in my description box. Feel free to email me about any questions, or if you just need help, if you need someone to proofread your work, I'm happy to do that. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it or you have learned something useful. If you want me to do any other videos, just make sure you let me know in the comments. Hope that helps you guys and stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you request videos as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.